Mr. Waylon Reads! Hi friends, it's Mr. Waylon here. I have brought you another story. I have a special story today. It's called Under My Hijab. Under My Hijab. Well, what's a hijab? Well, the hijab is the headscarf that you see the girl wearing in the picture. Maybe you've been out before in the stores or somewhere like that, or even at school. You see a girl who's got her head wrapped up in a scarf. It's called the hijab. Um, Muslim women, Muslim, who practice the faith of Islam, they wrap their heads in a scarf because that's what they believe is the right thing to do. They do it because of their religious faith. And lots of people do different things because of their religious faith. They might wear a certain thing or, or practice a certain holiday or not be in school for a certain day when you are because they're practicing their religious faith. Lots of things can happen that way. And it's good to learn about those things. This book was really informative. It's by Hannah Khan and with pictures by Aaliyah, Aaliyah Jalil. And it just shows you that underneath the hijab, I mean, maybe you've wondered, why do they wear the hair scarf? Is there something wrong with their head? Do they have hair under there? Why do they keep it on when they're inside? This book tells you a little bit about that. And I thought it was really good to learn about different cultures and different people and the different faiths that they practice. This is a really informative book. It's really well written. It's got great pictures in it. And it was a great way to learn about a different religion and a different culture. So I had a great time reading it. I hope you enjoy it too. Under My Hijab by Hena Khan Illustrated by Aliyah Jalil Under My Hijab Grandma peeks into the oven as a brown loaf of bread starts to rise. Her hijab is carefully folded like the crusts on my favorite pies. When she's at home in her kitchen, Grandma fixes her hair in a bun. We mix up some chocolate cookies and share a sweet treat when they're done. Mama makes jokes with her patient as she peers in his ears and his throat. Her bright pink hijab looks so cheerful, tucked into her tidy white coat. At home, Mama lets her, lo her long hair down as she rolls up the sleeves on her shirt. We laugh while we plant pretty flowers and make a big mess with the dirt. Auntie works hard in her studio. She's always dressed funky and cool. Her silky hijab towers up high, pinned with a handmade jewel. I help hang my very own painting on the wall of her colorful home. Auntie's hair is streaked pink and purple, a fine work of art she can comb. Jenna's our fearless troop leader. She makes us the gooeyest s'mores. Her hijab is topped with a sun hat whenever we hike the outdoors. When dark falls, we huddle together and share spooky stories all night. Jenna's hair glows as she whispers. I shiver and hold her arm tight. My sister Zena in high school wears something stylish each day. She puts on a fashionable outfit and wraps her hijab a cute way. Zena ties up her hair in the evening when she takes a short break from her book. Then we dig through the clothes in her closet to find her tomorrow's fresh look. Iman tries to earn her first black belt. A sporty hijab frames her face. When she cracks a board into pieces, I'm amazed her hijab stays in place. At my house, we dance to some music. I teach Iman moves that I know. My cousin's curls bounce, jump, and tumble as we put on our own private show. These wonderful girls and smart women inspire me with all that they do. I can wear my hijab like each of them or try something totally new. Under my hijab, in a headband, or a clip with butterfly wings, my hair shines bright like my future, I can't wait to see what it brings.